Yo, what's up guys, Andrew here. And in this video, I share with you how to set your noise gate for OBS. And on my channel, I do podcasts, I do tech audio tips. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you do not miss when I drop another video. All right, guys, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to reaper.fm slash plugs. And we need to go down towards the middle section here. And we're gonna grab the 32-bit and 64-bit RIA plugs and install them. The RIA gate plugin, the noise gate plugin is inside this pack. This is really one of the best packs on the internet uh, for plugins, so definitely pick that up. The next thing that we need to know uh, specifically for, for our microphones, right? You definitely need to know this for your microphone is the frequency response, extremely important, okay? So that's the next thing that we're going to do. Uh, so we're gonna find out the frequency response for our microphone. So for me, it is the ATR2100. Once I get to the website, I go to specifications for the mic and it tells me the frequency response is between 50 hertz and 15,000 kilohertz, right? So this is extremely important. So you need to find out what that is for your microphone, right? So go to the website for your manufacturers, uh, for your microphone and then get the frequency response for your microphone. Now, a couple of things we're gonna do here with this information, we're actually going to uh, do a high pass filter for the lower frequencies. We're gonna get rid of those. And then we're going to set a high pass filter um, past these, uh, this frequency. So the EQ spectrum is uh, 20 Hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. Some microphones will have this in this particular range, 50, uh, 50 to 15, a thousand, some will have the, the entire spectrum, which is 20 to 20,000, right? So you want to know what yours is so we can start uh, cleaning up the frequency uh, to be more focused, okay? So once, so now we have that information for our microphone. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get a sound meter that we can install on our phone. So depending on the phone that you have, you're gonna grab the sound meter for the Android phone, which is the one that I use. Um, and you're gonna grab the one for Apple if if that's what you have, you're gonna grab that. Okay, so pretty much what that does is uh, we're gonna install that on our phones and then we're going to let that listen to the room noise, okay? Because we need that information as well. Because whatever that noise floor is, we're gonna set the, the volume, if you will, just above that noise floor. If you set it too high above the noise floor, when you talk into your microphone, you're gonna get cut off, right? We don't want that. So we wanted to know exactly or, or the approximate uh, number that our room is, right? So my room is about uh, 46 dB, if you will, right? So if we look here uh, for a gate, we're gonna use this as, as an example and then we're gonna go into uh, OBS, okay? So if you look this as an example, I have it set about 47 uh, dB here, right? Which is just above the noise floor. So I'm gonna go quiet for a second so you can see the meter just flash with the noise. So notice it's just above that noise floor. Okay, so next thing that I did here inside of the rear gate uh, plugin, I set a high pass filter at 80 Hertz, okay? And then I set a low pass filter, as you can see here, at 16,000 Hertz, right? So the beginning section of the spectrum, I'm not going to use. And the end of the spectrum, I'm not going to use because we already looked and we found out that for my specific microphone, the frequencies are 50 to 15,000, right? 50 to 15,000. So specifically, because I know that, I'm not going to use anything below that and I'm not gonna use anything above that because we're going to focus on the frequencies in the middle. And that really helps when you start preparing to uh, set up your EQ. So notice here, high pass at 80, uh, uh, 80 hertz and then low pass at 16,000 kilohertz, right? So we've set that. I didn't touch the attack hold or anything like that. These are standard from uh, the actual uh, plugin itself. So, okay, so now that we have that set up, see what else we have to do here. Uh, so we talked about uh, the Reaper plugins, where to find that. We talked about uh, the microphones set, find out your frequency for your microphone, extremely important. 
Okay, then the sound meter, you definitely grab that for your phone and then find out what that number is for your room. Mine is about 46 dB, right? So we talked about that. So once you have all this information, you're ready to clean up the audio for your microphone, okay? So then you go to OBS and you find your mic microphone, right? So once you get to the microphone section, you wanna right click and you go to filters and you wanna right click here, add, and you do VST plugin, okay? So we're gonna name this gate and I'm gonna add some dashes at the end because I know this is the one we're doing for the video here. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go to uh, the drop down. We're gonna look for uh, Ria gate, Ria gate right here, and then open it up. Okay, so you have the information to put in here. Okay, so you're going to put in your room DB, whatever that is, you're going to raise it up to whatever that amount is. You're going to set your low pass filter. 80 is a good start. You can even do 60 is a good start, right? For the low pass. And then whatever frequency at the end of your microphone, if you, you ever hear a mic that has a high pitch squeaky noises on their mic, it's it's cool that you just bought the best mic on the market, but if the frequencies at the top you're not using, it doesn't make sense to have those frequencies um, affect the ears of the individuals who are going to be listening to you on a microphone, right? So depending on the mic that you have, you have the information to put in there, right? So you're gonna raise this above your noise floor, okay? Just above the noise floor, okay? You're gonna set your high pass, at you could do 60 you could do 80 i do 80 okay and you're going to do your low pass if your mic ends in 17,000 kilohertz then just do a, a low pass filter at 18,000 you're not using those frequencies right if it ends at 15,000 like mine then just do 16,000 uh for the filter there right so uh just definitely uh, set that up once you set that up the order of the audio filters, they do matter, okay? So what you're going to do there is you're going to make sure that the gate is somewhere in the beginning, right? So you have your noise suppression, you have your gate. Now notice I have the EQ here because I have a high pass filter here. Now technically I could do the high pass filter inside the EQ. I just wanna show you that real quick. But I decided to do the high pass filter separate um, because I just like the way this looks better. I'd rather uh, just look at the spectrum and just make the adjustments here, even though I can technically do a high pass uh, or low pass filter in here. So if you look at the sixth uh, band here, if you will, I did the low pass here, but I just didn't do the high pass there. So technically here, I could have done the high pass separate, the EQ, uh, the low pass separate, and then from there, the compressor, okay, the de and then the loudness, right? So the, the order definitely matters. So the gate would be either first or second, depending on your audio chain, because you wanna make sure that you have a noise suppressor, you have the gate, then you have your EQ, the compressor, the de the loudness, and then maybe a limiter, but the loudness should take care of, of that at the end. And that's pretty much how I set it up, guys. I just wanna show you uh, one more thing here. Let's go back to the VST. So if we were to look at what a low pass filter looks like, let's let's do the low pass filter right here. So the low pass filter, this is it, right? For the end of the frequency. So um, for my mic specifically, if I were to do, if I were to use the EQ as a uh, filter separately, so I would set this to 15,000 because I know that's where my mic ends, right? Now for it to do a high pass filter, cutting the beginning of the frequencies, high pass, then I would do the high pass at um, 80, right? Somewhere around there. So that's it guys for this video. I hope it brought you a lot of value. If it did, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, and definitely um, enjoy your new mic setup. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, what's up guys, Andrew here and <laughs> oh my gosh.